Hello Darts Nuts, welcome to Darts Review Channel. In this video I'm reviewing a set of darts that were sent to me from Mark Care, and these are his custom made darts. Now if you don't know, Mark runs a channel called Love Darts. Um, he says he's called Mark Care, but I think he's actually Ray Winston in disguise. But <laughs> uh, anyway, he sent me a set of his darts and he has a really nice channel with lots of really nicely made videos on it really good quality production in his videos so if you haven't watched any of these videos you're in for a treat now he does have a video where he explains about these darts and how he got involved with Zach Thornton who designed the uh, the style of the darts along with uh, Mark and he explains all that in this this video and I'll put the video link for that in the description it's well worth a watch it's really nicely made video and you get a little bit of insight around how custom darts are made um, I've done it myself in the past and these have got four different types of grip on and I've also got a black coating on so they're not cheap I mean the 58 pound and it's barrels only but as you can see it comes in the bar wallet now it might sound a lot of money but when you're not buying massive volumes of darts like that it's really hard to get the price down and when you see how nicely machined they are you'll understand but anyway the price of these are 58 pound plus whatever your postage and packaging is to where you live and you can get them from Mark Direct and I'll put links up to Mark's social media. So again, if you want to get in touch with him, just go through one of the links. Twitter is probably the easiest maybe. So let's check it out. So these are the Love Darts Gen 1 Type 2. They're only in 23 gram, 90% tungsten and the retail for £58. So the darts come in this little bar wallet and Mark's written on and remember love darts MK wait a minute I need to do that right I need to do it how he says it and remember love darts no it doesn't sound like that <laughs> anyway let's have a quick look so you got the darts in a point protector and nothing else <laughs> only messing but uh, really nicely made darts then so we'll have a close look at them so the darts are fitted with a black coated point and it's a straight barrel dart with a nice deep black titanium coating on and like I said it's really nicely machined and very nicely designed grip now if you watch the video that I put in the link in the description the first set that Mark got had a tapered nose I think it was just a happy accident but he quite liked the tapered nose but originally the idea was to be a bull nose like these so these ones are going to be the Love Darts Gen 1 Type 2 and he said he will be getting some stock in of the Type 1 so if you prefer the tapered nose he'll be getting them in stock as well and um, so let's have a quick look then we've got a ring and groove grip at the front so your normal kind of grip there and then above that we've got what Mark is calling the uh, grenade grip although to me it's more like a brick pattern because it's got the staggered cross cuts but it's Mark's start so if he's calling it a grenade grip it's a bloody grenade grip so there you go <laughs> but very nicely done uh, the reason why I like this grip is because it's got the kind of rounded rings and fairly deepish grooves in and I think the micro grip on top of the rounded rings is just giving it that little bit of nice edgy grippiness so it feels very nice in the fingers that and above that you've got what he calls the Tetris grip which he got fr from the Edgar darts and again quite a little bit of grippiness on there but uh, it's only a short section section that so you may depend on how you hold the dart, I suppose, but if you like to grip just a little bit front of rear, then you may find that is a nice section to hold on to. And then above that, you've got the same grip as the front, but this time it's in a flatter uh, ring style. So whereas the front has got wider grooves, 
this one's got more square cut grooves so just a little bit less grippy there but again still very nice so here's a quick close look as you can see it's got thin rings and grooves at the front then you've got the grenade grip kind of rounded wide rings with the micro grip and then you've got the tetris grip and then on the end of the barrel it's got a flatter grenade grip i've just put some condor axe stems and flights on mainly because i'm very lazy i can't be bothered putting a stem on and a flight so <laughs> i just put that on but there you go That's fit with a black coated 26mm point. The front section is made of a thin ring and groove grip that's 8.5mm. Then you've got the grenade grip, which is kind of like curved rings with micro grip on the top and wide grooves that's 16.5mm. Above that, you've got the tetris grip, which is 7.5mm. On the end of the barrel, it's the same grip as the front, but this time with a kind of a flat square edge ring design that's 11mm. On the end of the barrel, you've got a smooth tapered section of four millimeters length is 47.5 millimeters width is 6.5 millimeters twenty three point zero five grams twenty three point zero six grams twenty three point zero four grams so very closely matched. I'll just stick me Condorix stems and flights on. So if I'm using that full setup, 24.66 grams. So use the balance with nothing attached and using medium in between short nylon stems and standard flights. So the grip levels are mostly maybe just a little bit above medium to almost high medium. I think the Tetris grip section probably would be grippier if it was a bit wider than it is. Oh. It's not an especially long dart at 47 mil, but for me, I prefer that. Usually, I don't like anything more than about 48 mil, but I suppose it depends on the dart as well. But these feel quite nicely balanced because, like I say, it's not that long. Um, I'm gripping it fairly close to the nose, but I'm mostly on that ring grip, just a little bit on the grenade grip above. Um, actually prefer the grenade grip I'll just try this one fully on the grenade grip then see what that feels like yeah it feels rather nice that grip um, but I do tend to grip closer to, to the nose on the dart so I wish it had gone down a little bit further to the nose but it does feel a nice grip that Um, that second one just went wild, but the first two fairly smooth. So I say it'd be all the time though, it's a straight barrel dart, so whether you're a front middle or a rear gripper, it's gonna work. But the nice thing with this dart is it's got grip pretty much the full length, so there's a little bit of something for everyone. Um, I'm probably mostly on the uh, grenade grip on this middle section but a little bit on the tetris grip as well um doesn't really make any difference they both have a similar kind of grip level so oh, like i say should be fine for middle grippers but i suppose if you want to be specific you've got like De definite grip zones if you want to grip right near the nose just above 
in front of middle and then again two sections on the rear Can't believe them two went in the same spot near enough. So on this rear grip, I'm gripping fully on the second section of uh, the grenade grip. It's not quite as grippy as the front section, but uh, it's still got quite a nice feel to it. Ooh. I'm getting a fair bit of spin, but not as much as I thought I would. And I think it's probably helping the fact that the dart isn't too long, so <laughs> if you're a natural rear gripper, you're going to be happy with it, I think. Uh, there's a couple there that seem to go quite smooth, so like I say, it'll work whether you're a front, middle or rear gripper, there's something there for everyone. Might as well try <laughs> Well, I got the first one in the double, so I thought I may as well go for a Shanghai. <laughs> so, there you go. That's the Love Darts Gen 1 Type 2. Was it? Yeah, Type 2. Um, really nicely designed dart there by Mark and Zach. Only problem is they put it in the wrong colour. It should have been green. Just think how nice it'd be in green. I'm only joking. No, it, it looks really nice and it, very nicely machined. And like I said, there's something in this dart for everyone, whether you're a front, middle or rear gripper, it should work fine. I do particularly like the uh, grenade gripper at the front like. I just wish that had gone a little bit further to the nose, but it's a nice ball nose. Um, so yeah, I'll put the link up in the description to uh, Mark's social media. So we fancy a set, 58 pound um, plus whatever the postage and packaging is. And if you prefer a tapered nose, he will be getting them as well. I'm not sure when, I think he said a few weeks, but you never know. Things are a bit slow at the moment with a lot of stuff. So keep your eyes open for that if you prefer the tapered one. Um, so I'll leave you with the gallery so you can have a closer look at it. So. Happy love darts darting, no that's not it is it, uh, and remember love happy dart, no that's not it either, ah feck it. <laughs>